Hello beautiful people and welcome. In this video I'll be restoring a very old umbrella stand that I found in this garden shed. Enjoy! As you can see, this old umbrella stand was looking pretty rough. One of the hinges was broken, one of the drip trays was missing and the other one wasn't usable anyway. And also some of the decorative pieces were missing and I didn't notice that until later on. If you're not new to my channel, you've probably noticed by now that my workshop looks completely different. I've recently done a makeover and I've got a video, so I'll put the link down below if you'd like to see it. This bit is missing on the other side. I believe it used to be here, so I'll need to make one.
As always, I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you beautiful, generous people who support me by buying me coffees, via yeah, buying me a coffee or using my Amazon wishlist link or by hitting the super thanks button. That makes a huge difference and I really appreciate it. All the links are down below if you're interested. And also I've got a list of all the products that I use most often and my favorite things that I usually get from Amazon. So you can check all these things out in the link down below. thousand years later. Because this space is brand new and I'm trying to find my way around it and get used to it, I chose this smaller project for this specific reason, but I've got some exciting projects coming up, so stay tuned. A few moments later So there are at least four different ways I was thinking about making these, but in the end I've got all those machines and I thought, you know, I need to use them at some point. So I decided to 3D print these drip trays and because they're made of plastic, I'll never have to worry about rust.
For the top coat I used polyurethane because I felt it was the most suitable for this type of furniture and for its age. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always if you have do like comment and subscribe for more content like this enjoy the final results and see you next time